at last we have some good news. Quarantine in my country was ended on May 21st, which is fantastic. Life has gone back to a kind of new sort of normal, different to how it was before, but better than how it was under quarantine and lockdown, where you're stuck inside all the time. Uh, but one of the perks of life kind of going back to normal is that our postal system has also kind of gone back to normal. And by normal, I mean it's just as terrible as it always was. But that does mean that I'm finally, once again, getting my hamster mail boxes. I have two here that were backlogged from quarantine. So I think this top one is the one from March. And then I have the April box as well. And in fact, in probably about a week, I should be getting the May box. So we'll be doing another unboxing very soon as well. We are being joined today by lovely little Sodium, who's just making his way up from his cage onto the table. Hi, gorgeous. All right, you, you, you go on the table. I'll change the camera. No, no, if you jump, you will get hurt. Don't jump. Unlike hamsters, mice are not known for yeeting themselves off things, but just in case he feels like doing it, this table is very close to the ground and there is a thick blanket running all the way around it, so he won't get injured. Logic dictates that we start with the March box, which is the smaller of the two. We've got some treats, we've got some snacks, we've got some toys for chewing on. The charity of the month for March was Austin's Hamster Haver, which is a rescue based in Doncaster in the UK. It rescues hamsters and other rodents who've been abandoned, neglected, or are simply in need of a home. The rescue health checks and tames their animals, and they are prepared to travel all over the country to find new loving homes for them. As always, the links to the charities mentioned in this video will be included in the description box, so you can go and support them if you want. I'm going to start off with these treats because I've not seen them before. These are the Rosewood Naturals Apple and Strawberry Bunnies. They're a grain-free treat made from real apple, strawberry, and spinach. That sounds interesting. So these should be suitable for most small pets, I would think, looking at the ingredients. They're certainly going to be suitable for mice and hamsters, so let's give Sodium one, see what he thinks. All right, so you can either choose, or well, you're already going for the strawberry one again, strawberry or apple or spinach. Which one do you want? The spinach and try the apple. Which one? Hmm? Alright, I tell you what, we'll leave you with the strawberry one because you've already had a little bit of a nibble on that. Pop the others away. Treat number two, we have the healthy hopper carrot and coriander. And it's just dried coriander and carrot slices. Straightforward and simple as healthy hopper usually is. So this is actually mostly coriander. There's only a little bit of carrot in there. I'm not sure if that's just from my bag or if that's how they pack them normally. Um, but that's fine because I don't feed carrot very often to my lot anyway. You wanna try a little bit of carrot? These are really big for you again, aren't they? Let's see if we can find a tiny piece. Oh, there we go. Nice small bit. No, 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 what are you doing? Carrot? No? You, you, you don't care about that at all, do you? Okay, how about a bit of coriander, huh? A bit of coriander? No? Well, aren't you disappointing? <laughs> Either he's not in the mood for them or he really does not like carrot or coriander, but I'll try these out with ammonia later and see what he thinks. I'm pretty sure he likes dried carrot. Fairly certain. Oh, I'm sorry, are you, are you grossed out by the fact that I touched you, hmm? <laughs> you human. Nasty. Onto the toys, we have a Rosewood Woody's fruit spinner, which he is just peed <laughs> all over. Oh, honey. Honey, why? Uh, luckily the cardboard is shiny, so it hasn't actually soaked into it. So this is the Rosewood Woody's Fruit Spinner. I've had one of these in a previous hamster mail box back in, uh, what was it, 2018, I think I last had hamster mail. So these are just your simple kebab treats. It's a metal pole that has a hook on the top that you can hang from the top of your cage. Uh, but these ones come with wooden chews on them. But the actual kebab is very useful for putting on fresh treats, vegetables, fruit. Uh, you can also put walnut shells in here and hide treats and snacks and things in those as a foraging toy. So these come in really useful and I'm glad to have another one. Is that delicious, honey? Do you like that? And the last thing in the March box are these rosewood nibble sticks. These are hardwood gnaws with a crunchy corn leaf top to them. And I'm 90% certain that Sodium is actually gonna like these because he really does like these corn topped chews. We've got a couple of them in his cage at the minute and uh, he's been having a good go of them. I'm being so awkward about unwrapping that. I don't know why. We have corn, we have a carrot and we have the vegetable whose name escapes me. He didn't fall, don't worry, he did not fall. 
<laughs> I don't know if you saw that. He dragged that bunny tree across the table and then threw it off the edge into his cage. His cage is sitting right at the edge of the table with a ramp coming up to it so he can get up and down. He threw the bunny into the box and because it's so heavy, nearly launched himself in there too. Luckily, he didn't. He caught himself. But what are you playing at? Go find your treat. Ah, okay, this is a lot more chaotic than it was with zinc. Let's move on to the April box, shall we? Oh, I'm so distracted now. That was ridiculous. That treat is the size of his body. What was he thinking? Well, if you ever needed a good treat recommendation for mice, the Naturals Apple and Strawberry Bunnies are apparently high on sodium's list, but not high in sodium. Ooh, oh, ooh, nice. <gasps> okay, I like that. First and foremost, charity of the month for April was the Atlantic Critters Rescue in Galloway in the United States. This rescue takes in reptiles, rats, ferrets, guinea pigs, gerbils, rabbits, mice, and of course, hamsters too. They provide a haven for these animals in need and help them find suitable forever homes. And again, a link to this rescue is in the description box in case you want to support them. Oh, this is a really big box. This is kind of in my way. The first treat we have is by Healthy Hopper again. Great brand that we always get in these boxes. And this is called the Sunflower Pouch. It's described as a touch of sunshine, sunflower seeds, sunflower hearts, and sunflower petals. Ooh. I'm not gonna open these now because sodium and ammonia have already had some sunflower seeds today and I don't wanna give them too many, so we'll just pop that to the side, but it's a nice extra thing to have. The next treat is the Simply Nibbles Garden Herb and Apple Cushions. And I've had these before and they always go down so well with my animals. These are made from cereals, derivatives of vegetable origin, which includes a huge long list of the different leaves that it includes. Uh, apple, vegetable protein extracts, and minerals. Sodium! Honey! I'm fairly certain that Sodium's gonna like these, but I think he's still too distracted by his rabbit. So maybe we'll save these for another day. I actually need to get that rabbit off him before he eats the whole thing, because it's a little bit big for his tininess. I decapitated the rabbit and just gave him the head, so we'll pop the body back in there for later. Ooh! Oh, this is interesting. Okay, these are the, which ones are these? These are just the Trixie Dumbbells, which as you can guess, are for chewing on. These are so cute and tiny. They are shedding quite a bit though. <laughs> There's quite a bit of wood dust coming off my hands, so they're a little bit messy. And it's always convenient when you have two rodents and you get two different toys, so you can actually give them one each instead of having to decide who gets it. And the last thing in this box, which is what I was excited about when I opened it, is this Rosewood Naturals Seagrass Play Tunnel. I can never find seagrass anything over here. So it's nice to actually have something a little bit different, slightly different texture, uh, great for chewing on, but also just looks really nice. Look lovely in a natural cage. I don't know who I'm gonna give this to. Oh, cause it would go so well in Ammonia's cage. But at the same time, I think Sodium might really like this for chewing on. Ooh, decisions, decisions. So that's everything I got in the March and April hamster mailboxes. As always, very happy with it. Um, and I will leave a link to the hamster mail website in the description box in case you wanna go and sign up for hamster mail. Not affiliated with them. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. Just a company that I really love and enjoy. As I said earlier, I will be getting the May hamster mailbox pretty soon. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a dedicated unboxing video for that, or I might do that one in a vlog or something. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys whenever I see you next. Bye.